Morning everybody, ampreparguy.com, 203-892-4119, also hardbockelectronics.com. So, I uh, have here a TL922, this was one that I was selling, customer sent the money, so now I'm going to go through it, I never go through them until I have the money in hand, so payment has arrived, so I'm going to do everything that needs to be done, and I'll show it working on the band of the customer's choice, so it needs a new air variable cap, so I'll replace it. Putting new Harbach filter caps in, whole filter cap board. I'm going to do all the modifications. And uh, I have other amps here, but I'm waiting on parts. So, parts, parts, parts. So, so please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll be back when it's all done. So, see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Stay tuned. Bye. Okay, so this will be a really quick video. People wonder. Where does Amp Repair Guy go when he doesn't put videos on? I'm here fixing amps, but unfortunately, I'm waiting on parts. So this was a 922 that I had as a for sale amp. It sold. Customer sent me the money, so I repaired this yesterday and went through it. Did everything I needed to do. I'll show you the video when it's done. It's done, but needs a Zener, so I had to order a Zener. I was out of them. So, I did clean off my bench a bunch, I have more to do, but um, filled up a garbage bag, so stuff all over. So the Henry amp, that's done. Just waiting, the customer wanted me to delay shipment because he's on vacation. Then I have a Dentron amp over there, a uh, Clipperton L. Uh, I'm waiting on parts for that. I have an Ameritron AL811, I'm waiting on parts for that, and I have more amps and boxes. So I'm just waiting on parts. I'm going to clear more of this stuff off. I need a spot for my tools. So, um, I start offering parasitic suppressor assemblies. I use 350 ohm, because I have a ton of these, and these are really good. 350 ohm, 2 watt Allen Bradley resistors. I twisted these and bent them. I, I messed up on this one, but you can see what they look like. So, I started selling these on the Harbox site, just individual resistors and also complete parasitic assemblies with a coil in parallel. So these are carbon comp type good resistors and I have a lot. So for whatever amp that requires parasitic that work well. Um, so I'm here chugging along, just waiting up parts. I've been filling Harbox orders. I get stuff out within a business day. Um, a couple I goofed that I don't sell often. I was out of a standoff, but still got it out within four days. I had to order the part, but 99.9% .9 of the time goes out the next business day. I get things out quick, and I get amps done as quick as I can. So, thanks for watching, and have yourself a great day. And again, the websites are amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com please like share and subscribe 73 okay so i'm back with the completed kenwood tl922a customer wants it tested on 80 so i'm going to test it there on 3.7 megahertz 2500 watt slug it's on pep key the amp first audio hello 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 audio hello about 1200 1300 right there audio hello 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 it's on 120, so it requires more drive. Audio, hello, 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 because my line sags. Audio, hello, hello, hello. All right. Hello. Audio. Audio, hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Or voltage setting. Audio. Hello, hello. Audio, hello. See, it does less power in the lower voltage setting. Tit, 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 tit. Works as it should. So I'll continue testing it, then I'll crack it open and show the inside. See you guys soon. Stay tuned. So I'm back with the top lid removed. Tested full output on all the rest of the bands. So those are my test tubes. Getting a brand new set of tubes. Drop ship to the customer from Penta. Awesome company. Put the Harbach filter cap board in, put the series glitch resistor in, brand new air variable capacitor on the plate side because the other one was damaged. Plate blocker had to be replaced. 
This is different anode caps. These are small ones. They're not really tall. They don't stick up any further than the other ones in total. Didn't have the other ones, so use these. Zip tied the wiring. Added the strap here. The cap on this side looked good. Someone did half the 10 meter mod. They didn't solder the wire in properly, so I soldered that really well on the band switch. Okay, so I'll flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Be right back. See you soon. Okay, so here's the bottom. The Zener diode was shorted. So I replaced it. I also replaced the diode over here. So I had ordered one and the bag was cut open and it was missing. So <laughs> they had to send another one. I guess they looked at their stock and a bunch of the bags were open. They were just oh, they're old stock. So the bags, they get brittle and they break. So anyway, so we changed that. Change the electrolytic. Band switch was clean with deoxy gold. Same with the input rotary switch. Both in perfect condition. I inspect them carefully. Added the strap over here. Grounded the grids right to the metal. Let's see what else. I did the self bias modification. Clean the relay contacts with deoxy gold. I also cleaned the TR relay contacts with deoxy gold. The output SO239 didn't really have much grip, so I changed that. The other one was fine, so I left that alone. So, I get my connectors from Alan Bond Max, at Max Gain Systems. Awesome company, great people over there. The uh, terminal strip was actually broken in the middle, so I luckily had another stock one. So, uh, you have to be really careful when you switch it from 120 to 240 that you don't press down too hard because that terminal strip is very brittle and it can break. So, has a new stock one in there. Customer wants it wired for 120, so it's on 120. And uh, I think that's about it. I have a Dentron I worked on all of yesterday. Wait till you see that. But I didn't notice the fan was messed up. So I had to order a fan. But um, you know, that was a early in the morning till late project. That was a lot of work, but you'll get to see that next. And I have more amps here. Sorry, just sometimes I'm waiting on parts, but you know. I'm still working on something, whether it's an amp or whatever, but uh, I have some news on the multi-band amp. My buddy Jim, VE7RF, my good buddy up there, he called, he went down to the post office and talked to them, and he figured out what was going on with the cap, so I guess they're finally on their way. They had that strike up there, and I guess um, they were put somewhere and forgot about, or whatever, it's a long story, but anyway, they're on their way, so when I get those, I'll get back on the multi-band amp. I can't wait to get that thing done. I really, really want to get that done. I was hoping to have more done, but just have to wait on parts. So, again, thanks for watching. Websites are amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. 73. I'll mention a few things. I also cleaned the contacts on these two switches. Standby operate and the multimeter function switch. I used deoxy gold, great stuff. And I also added the meter protection diode. I always do that. That protects the play current meter in case you ever have a, a B positive to chassis short. You don't want to have to change that. Not only is it difficult to change, but it's also hard to find. Okay, so thanks for watching and have a great day. 73.